everybody. Welcome into the show tonight. I'm Brian Keating alongside Carson Cunningham. It is time to crash the boards. Let's do it. We've talked a little thunder. They didn't play well today. Not much to say there. Not, not a lot Low to say with the Oklahoma City Thunder. And really the big story of the weekend started on Friday night uh, when Oklahoma State hired Mike Boynton to be their head basketball coach. Mm -hmm. We talked a little bit about this on Friday night. You used the word uninspiring Did you check your notes over there? I had to check my notes <laughs> uninspiring when uh, you, you when we talked about Mike Boynton have you changed your opinion now that you've had 48 hours to chew on this I mean I don't want to condemn Mike Boynton he may be the second coming of Bill Self sure. I know yeah. nobody knows that for me it's it's very underwhelming in the way they went about it for me the theory I have Brian this was a holder holdover. Brad Underwood burned everybody. He burned Mike Holder. He burned the players. He burned the assistant coaches. They all found out on Twitter. And I feel like Mike Holder knows the players, knows the assistant coaches. He wanted to rally them together and say, stay here. We're going to make this better. We're going to forget about Brad Underwood. He interviews the local assistants and Doug Gottlieb. And then he hires a coach. It was a rushed, hurried hire. I've yet to hear one reason why we should expect Mike Boynton to win big. All I've really heard is uh, the players like him. He's a leader, okay. He's not known as some elite recruiter that's going to get a bunch of dudes like a Scott Drew at Baylor. So there's still a lot of question marks, and for me it was a holdover decision made in almost spite towards Brad Underwood for leaving town in the middle of the night. Yeah, I don't want to sit here and disparage Mike Boynton either because I don't know him really at all. He has no record. He's a first-time head basketball coach. Um, no history. I think we, we might – learn to like him a little bit but it, it strikes me and I think the same thing I thought on Friday night it's this is cheap it, this is the cheap route for Mike Holder um, he didn't want to pay a buyout he didn't want to pay a head coach two or three million dollars so you took Buzz Williams and guys really proven track records out of the equation and as we were talking about salaries and what Mike Boynton might make I don't, we just, we're guessing here. We don't know yet. We may find out tomorrow. Six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars. If that's the case, that would be less than the head basketball coaches at Virginia Commonwealth, Northern Iowa, and Tulsa. This is Oklahoma State. You're trying to win in the Big 12. Mike Boynton may be a fantastic head coach, but he was the cheapest route, and that's why they hired him. You pay for what you get for. In the Big 12, every coach is paid handsomely because most of those coaches are proven, proven winners. Sure, he just he's not proven. That's why he won't make any. Thirty-five money. years old. Thirty-five years old. <laughs> Never been head Younger coach. than me, so <laughs> that puts things into perspective. Well, Mike Holder's fearless. He's on an island on this hire. There's no, no question about, about it. it. Um, we've talked a lot, and boy, on social media, whatever you you look at, a lot of kind of the doom and gloom look from some OSU fans. Mm -hmm. But I want to know. I want you to give some OSU fans hope. I, I want you to make them feel good tonight. What are some things you like about this hire as you look forward? Well, it's obvious it's, he's a likable guy. Like, sure, You can hear yes. him talk for five minutes. You can tell how he's, he's charming. He's, he's young. I think the players will love that aspect. As far as basketball coach, what you have to just – Gra grab a hold of if you're an Oklahoma State fan for a positive is maybe you found a Frank Martin. Frank Martin hadn't coached hardly at all. He was a high school coach. He only had eight years at the college level when he got the head coaching job at Kansas State. Yep. All that guy did was win big, go to Elite Eights, but the key for him is he got dudes. Yep. Kansas State had a ton of talent. He just won at South Carolina. They're going to the Final Four because they have talent. If Mike Boynton can recruit guys like that, he recruited a couple at South Carolina. He did. You got to give him credit for that, but Perhaps he can be a Frank Martin. That's the one positive I can draw from the high. Sure. No, no. I mean, if you can envision him as a recruiter, and there's some history that says at South Carolina, who's going to the Final Four, they have some good players. Mike Boynton was a part of that. No question about that. I, this is a little bit different. I, I think OSU fans will like Mike Boynton. And, and I just mean that I think they will like him. I think he is a likable guy. Yeah. I think – People will really root for his family. He's a confident guy. You hear at the top of the show, he says, I want to win the national championship. Maybe that sounds crazy for a guy who's never coached a game. But I love his confidence in that way. I think he will be easy to root for. I think his players will like him. Now he has a, a ton to prove and a ton to learn as a head coach. I think you, the only way you can look at this is a long-term investment. Like yeah. If you think Mike Boynton's going to come out of the gates and they're just going to ascend to the heights that he wants, I think you're probably looking at this wrong. Down the road, I think this is an investment that Oklahoma State is betting on Mike Boynton to be a big-time coach.
He's got he's got some work ahead of him. He's got some work <laughs> ahead of him. In the Big 12, and no uh, doubt about he's it. trying to retain players and no recruits and all that. So what's the state of the program? OSU's had a lot of angles, could have gone a lot of directions. They went this one. What's the state of the OSU basketball program? Well, Brian, I've said time and time again, and Brad Underwood has agreed with me that Oklahoma State has the potential to be the second best job in the Big 12. I believe that with the history it has, that building when it's full and loud, one of the toughest places to play in America. But what Mike Holder has told us with this hire. Basketball is simply not a priority. One of his priorities, paying Mike Gundy. I would assume Mike Gundy's got the Brinks truck parked you at Gundy Ranch. You have to think Mike Gundy has some leverage Park now. the Brinks yeah. truck at Gundy Ranch. And two, he has to build a baseball stadium. Josh Hawley's doing a heck of a job in one of the worst baseball stadiums you'll ever see. It's totally outdated. He has to fund that. He has to fund Mike Gundy. And basically he said, I don't care if we win at basketball. I got other priorities. Basketball is not a priority for Mike Holder. I don't know if he doesn't want to win, but he doesn't want to pay for you, for he doesn't want to pay that level of investment. You got to pay to compete. Sure, sure. Again, I, I don't want to disparage Mike. Bull. Not a priority. Maybe he'll. Yeah, it's a football school. Um, Oklahoma State's a football school. It's not a basketball school anymore. Um, not that long ago, they would have paid a basketball coach buku bucks and tried to win at basketball because they paid Travis Ford. They, and they paid Travis Ford. Now they got a big, beautiful stadium. Mike Gundy's rolling, playing for Big 12 championships. It is a football school. Return on investment is easy to see in football. Put 60,000 people in seats. TV contract is huge. It's a little more difficult to see that in college basketball. And I think that's why Mike Holder decided we're going to pay a big-time football coach. Maybe not for basketball. Football's the breadwinner, but Oklahoma State has a lot of pride in their basketball program. No question. I know Mike Boynton knows that, but he's got a big job ahead of him to maintain that. Press conference tomorrow at 3 o'clock. We'll be there. We'll stream it on uh, KOCO.com and the KOCO mobile app. For Carson, I'm Brian. It's Crashing the Boards.